until 10 at night. Mm. And they would cook the tea and do little bits for supper. Now those men, half of them were going abroad and half of them never come back. What they die for? Mm. Sod all. Mm. Absolutely nothing. What a shame. That's what I did when I was in the ATS. And we had to work. But we enjoyed it. And when I knew they were all going away, or part of them was going away, in the dining room where they had the tables, there used to be a sergeant mm. standing where you put the meals out. And they'd all queue up for their meals, but he was there to make sure there was no nonsense or no fuss. And I said to him, they're going away the end of the week. He said, yes. I said, well, will you ask them who's Cornish, if there's any Cornish here? And I think there was four. So I made them all a pasty each. And I made this pasties. And when they come in, they were told, the sergeant said, you stand at the back of the queue, you four. And when they come up from the queue, the rest were all fed. And I give them their pasties. They took me on their shoulders round the bloody <laughs> dining room. We had some fun as well as working, but we worked bloody hard, boy. Mm. And that's how we did up there in that camp. That's the tale of working in a cookhouse. And the girls in the office used to look down on us girls. Oh, you're only cooks. So Bessie, she was big. Mm. And she said to them, do you go once a month to see your doctor? And are you stripped from head to foot? Nails, your backside, everything done. She was talking to them these, from the offices. Do you do have that every month? No, we don't have that. What do you have that for? Because we've got to be clean and we cannot poison the troops. We had to strip naked from head to foot. Because you poison them, you'd be in trouble. So she said, we're, we're cleaner than you. <laughs> that was my Bessie. Lovely, she was tall and big build. She was lovely. And that's a tale from the war days. Yes. Fantastic. And I went in 13 camps. In one camp, I had my own butcher shop and cut the meat up. Mm -hmm. Used to, the, j the jankers, as we call them, used to bring in half sides of pork and the whole thing of a cow and all. Mm. It was my job to cut it all up and then you'd take off all the fat and you'd render that down for dripping mm. to do your cooking. Mm. And I had sawdust on the floor and all proper butcher shop I had that was up in Bindley near Coventry. Yeah. Yes. But they wouldn't do it today six o'clock in the morning till two and work and you had to work by god you did 300 men oh well i'm going to bingo at 20 to 2.